Well, it more or less worked. Um, this side's fine. This side, I think, is about the same. This side isn't really holding up. And this side's starting to fall. So, basically, the side with the good tape and the fresh side is fine. Um, everything else is kind of crappy. So, I'm probably just going to go ahead and peel it off. Uh, which the cardboard may or may not survive. I might need to, to cut that piece again. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, and start over with that one. Just with a fresh four sides of the black tape, call it good. Um, I went ahead and cut this guy down. So it's the right size now. It's screwed up there. Um, this is where the doorbell thing is, so it kind of pushes there, but I mean, it's fine. As long as the cardboard doesn't rip. And even if it does, not the end of the world. The uh, lampshade will provide some support for it. So I'm gonna start fresh with four pieces of black tape there, brand new. And then, um, as long as it holds up as expected, which based on that, I expect it to, um, then I'll go ahead and redo this one. But that should uh, basically cap off those lights. And then I just gotta figure out exactly what I'm doing with the spirals. All right, to be continued. All right, so one thing that I noticed, it's obviously not much of an edge in there as far as what's actually touching the ceiling with any kind of pressure because you know the lampshade's only so thick. Um, so what I did is I stuck like a, a long metal rod in there just to kind of push the tape up against the cardboard just so it's got a better bond there's more surface area actually touching the cardboard. And then, you know, the tape's attached to itself you know, because it's, it's, you know, it's a piece. Um, so even though that's not directly, you know, connecting the edge of the lampshade, it's still more surface area spreading out the tension. Then it's not going to, like, separate from itself, you know, on the long way. So it should hopefully keep it up there. It seems like it's a pretty good seal. I mean, yeah, it's still not great in some areas because again it's not even and as i squish it here to get the cardboard bonded but yeah i think i am definitely gonna have to do something around the edge to pre it up uh, even if i do get a better bond over here it's still not going to be even and light proof so I'm probably going to run a bead of some kind of tape, like probably from this edge up, all the way around, possibly actually going up to the ceiling, like covering up this a little tiny bit. We'll have to see how it looks, but it should be easy to remove. Um, I'm just trying to get this done at this point and have it look acceptable. These are not the fixtures I would have gone with normally. But again, to reiterate, I'm renting. I don't really want to swap out light fixtures. Um, I'm just going for good enough. And I think I'm achieving that at least. Well, it's up. That's at max brightness, which I don't expect it to be at a whole lot. Uh, I'm sure this is washed out as hell on the GoPro, but it looks all right um, in person. Black obviously could be blacker. I mean, we're just talking the laser printer here. Nothing amazing. But, I mean, for the most part, it's probably going to be closer to that brightness. Maybe even less. And they're probably going to be not white. They're probably going to be purple or something to match the uh, aesthetic. But the leap lead on that one's actually not too bad now that it's all said and done. Um, especially from the front, which is really the only side I truly care about. Maybe better do something more with this. Just, just pulling it down. Or something, I don't know. 
You can see the cardboard's already torn. It's not real happy, but that's just because of the nature of the ceiling and how everything's mounted. Yeah, not my ideal, but seems to get the job done. Well, it's now April, and it's taken me forever, but I finally put Christmas away. Uh, I mean, this stuff's been in the basement for a while, just very unsorted. And apparently we have some sort of city inspection coming up, whatever that's about. So it's not going to probably make any difference. I'm not really worried about it. But I went ahead and decided to uh, finally clean up my rack. So I got those guys all bundled together and um, you nailed to the wall. I got the power routed and uh, stapled to the wall. Everything's uh, Velcro strapped together. So I got the speaker runs. I got HDMI and networking. I left a few things out, like the shield, because I intend to take that with me when I go places. But this is where we're at now. So, it's not the cleanest. I don't have a lot of cable management options here. But stuff's mostly out of the way and not crisscrossing each other. And I got kind of a nest going on at the bottom with all the slack on the Ethernet cords and stuff. But, you know, my jumpers are are pretty well organized and the speaker wires are pretty well organized which is mostly what I was going for organized these shelves got the desk cleaned off finally um, I got the deer as a floor model so they didn't come with a box so they're just gonna live under the desk these shelves are all organized Christmas tree pile popcorn cart is gonna live over here uh, I'm still in the process of getting rid of boxes. These are all empty boxes that I'm breaking down. Just haven't quite got there yet. This shelf is all organized now. Mostly empty boxes of collectibles and stuff that I'm keeping. Uh, the only two Christmas boxes that aren't with the rest of them, they're going to live there. Those dressers all have stuff in them now. Mostly spare cables and old clothes I can't really fit into anymore. This room hasn't really changed. Still eventually going to work on that projector hole. Still eventually going to put the uh, spiral lights on the ceiling. This side worked pretty good with the tape. Um, not perfect, perfect. Not really sure what's going on here. Just didn't stick, I guess. It's pretty uneven. Um, I got our... I thought that tape was holding pretty good. This side, once I redo it with just a fresh coat of the black tape and get rid of all the old tape, we'll probably be fine. Probably need to throw a couple more screws in the ceiling. Um, this area's kind of been a holding pattern for Christmas and stuff. So it's finally starting to come back together. I had to get a new chair. This one, the uh, gas shock's not working super great, so I ended up getting a new one. So he's going to live down here now. I did get one of these stapled up. So I just got to do the other side. I finally put the cable uh, cover on my projector. Figure I paid for the thing. Might as well use it. So it's up there. It looks a little nicer. Um, apparently I put the... Uh, safety mechanism into the wrong hole because it was the hole for the cable cover um, so it's actually not being used but it's not going to go anywhere I mean you know just eight screws in that thing hey Simba still have Simba the cat but yeah that's the update for down here I'm going to get rid of some more of these boxes and then uh, tomorrow I have three days off of my birthday 
Um, so tomorrow I'll take a tour of all the stuff that's been going on upstairs. Finally, after a long pause, have put a lot more art and stuff on the walls. Um, also, final note down here. Well, I said I might put up some pegboard. I don't know if I mentioned that in whatever the hell the last video was. But I did decide, you know, I did rearrange these shelves a bit. So it used to be these were all the way down. And this one butted up against it. But now these slid down and that's butted up against the wall. I have more room here now. Should have enough slack on all the cables. I'm not needing to get back there to change things a whole lot. This does slide on the concrete fairly easily. I decided I'm going to go ahead and spin it. Well, spin it. Uh, so I can see the front of it. Get easier access to the power buttons. Since uh, I don't really have like great access through the app. Because, um, I mean, the app will turn on the bottom one. Sometimes the middle amplifier will turn on with it. The top one usually does not. So I gotta come back here and usually power things up. Um, so I might as well make that a little more accessible for myself and give it a nicer appearance. But yep, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs and enjoy the rest of my evening. But I just wanted to give a quick update on the uh, much cleaner aesthetic of the rack. No, see you there. Oh, well, there she is. Also, I realized I hadn't pulled off the uh, side stickers from the 7706 yet, so I went ahead and did that. But that is the setup. Um, UPS is still on top, just because that's where the projector cord fits. Um, I might move the power conditioner up. Just to make better use of those lights. I mean, they still look cute, but... It doesn't really illuminate the rack at all. Not that it really needs it. Um, that is also kind of why I put... We had, um... An LED grow light. But... It didn't really work in the aesthetic of the kitchen. That's this hydro little guy over here. Um, so I ended up putting one up on the ceiling. So now he's going to live down here. And, it's, you know, it's a hydro so I can move it wherever. So that gives me enough light to do important stuff. But, yep, there she is. I still need to go test and make sure everything works. Between all that and I've actually pulled out a few cables and put them back in to clean up their routing. And spinning it. So hopefully everything still is good. Uh, I am not going to mess with that right now. Play with that tomorrow, probably. And then at some point in the near future, now that things have kind of settled down and the uh, construction's been done in that room for a while, I probably will go ahead and do a new Odyssey run at some point. Um, I did go ahead and boost the ceiling speakers like I had wanted, and it makes a pretty big difference. I'm happy with it. You know, it may not be technically correct, but I don't really care. Um, I can actually hear my ceiling effects way clearer now. And it makes me happy, so. That's that story. All right, see you in a bit. Hey, before I head upstairs, just a couple other quick points. Um, I did finally go ahead and move over the DirecTV cable box to this side of the room. And I forgot I had and finally unboxed my PS3. I didn't hook it up yet, but it's over here now. Um, if I do want to have that go through the amp, I am going to have to get another HDMI cord. I don't have another long, high quality one. Um, I don't even have a long, decent quality one. They're all fairly short. And then the... Uh, Snack cabinets finally cleaned up. The things on top are our Easter baskets. We went ahead and built Easter baskets for each other this year. And we decided, hey, that, well, the wife decided they'd make a good uh, theater candy dispenser. Like, box candy, stick it in there, pass it out. So I thought it was a good idea. So that's also complete. Um, next thing on the agenda is I actually am going to put power in this corner. 
probably from that room. Just gonna run it off that outlet. Way back there. And uh, behind the wall over there. So I can plug in the light for this. And the air purifier and that have the have everything run up to the extension cord behind the wall there. So yep, yeah, there's that there's that. Um this will be cleaned up tomorrow. I'll get rid of the rest of these boxes. I'll clean up the rest of these boxes. Try to organize the plush a little bit. Probably end up moving the cat tree because we moved it down here for Christmas. But the tree's been gone for a while. Uh our cat doesn't use it, but we're probably gonna put it back upstairs just to not have it in the gym. Alright, so that's it. See you later. Well, I'm home. Despite it having been five days, well, excuse me, four days of work, uh, I am going ahead and doing some work on the house and the home theater anyway. Because I kind of felt like it. I'm off tonight. So that's something at least. Uh, we got our gazebo back up. Went ahead and actually finally got the Christmas lights in it like I had wanted last year. I just never did it. Um, we got our solar mushrooms up. That's been a long time coming. We got our uh, torch lights out. On the side of the house, I got these little flame guys. So that's all coming together. Most of the stuff is things I've bought before we even moved in, but they're finally up. Living room's coming together. So we got our photo wall there, which still mostly needs pictures. Finally got some more art up on the wall. Had to fix that poster a couple of times. Had to fix this poster a couple of times. Um, we got the double-sided tape. These guys are up now too. And there's our owls over there. But yeah, the double-sided tape is not sticking super great. Um, at least to some surfaces. So I don't know. The kitchen's a mess. I'll fix that later. But we got a light strip up there now. I got the super cute cinema sign from the wife for the birthday slash anniversary. We got dark ring on the door now. We got these guys up. But yeah. Um, I just decided it was time to get some, some more stuff done. I was going somewhere else with that, but I forgot. <laughs> so I got this cable all tucked in and routed now. So the HDMI is now uh, secured and nice and tight. Same with over here. Just tucked up nice against the wall. You got another sign from the wife. Which is over here now. And that was also a birthday. We kind of got that one first because it was cheaper. And she said, hey, if you like it, we can get this other one. That's upstairs. Uh, it was on sale. Also, we got our... Uh, Panther on the door up there. I've had that thing forever. I actually inherited it from another house. Um, and I kind of just kept it the whole time. So I remember I was going to go. Um, this surface does not take the tape, like, at all. Um, so because I had some mini movie posters that I want to get in the walls. Um, but the tape is not working, so that's going to have to be... I, I, we're thinking staples is our next best bet I want to put something up there but without a ladder I can't really reach it um still getting a little bit of water the wall feels dry so I, it's seeping in and coming underneath because it's starting to come through the tile and it's kind of wet down there um this is where the popcorn guy's gonna live probably a little further back but I want to show you some stuff behind the screen so I figured that it was a cute little place, gets it out of the actual theater, but still kind of accessible. Got a little serving tray now to help contain the mess when we are making it. Um, I decided I didn't really like or want the cables on the floor anymore. So in my routing of stuff, I got everything going up to the ceiling and going across now. 
it's not great, but yeah, it keeps it off the floor, tightens it up a little bit. And then I got the excess just kind of cupped up against this wall here, which actually I don't mind. It looks pretty good. Um, I had a thought this outlet strip down here can be mounted to a wall. So in a minute here, I'm going to throw a screw in here and just kind of have it sitting on that leg. Gets it off the subwoofer, prevents it from bouncing around, scratching it up. So far, it seems fine, but I figure it couldn't hurt. Um, poor Simba is sick again. He's not feeling real good. He's got the sniffles. Seems like once a year he gets a cold. Poor Betty. He just kind of passed out. Um, so my screencast. This has been bugging me for a while. Uh, it's not too bad on the bottom. This side's usually pretty good. I mean, there's a wall right there, so it's, it's kind of not really able to go anywhere. It's a little wavy sometimes. I gotta kind of tuck the screen in, the curtain in again. I've been kind of messing around back there a little bit, so it gets a little out of place. But it's never cast on the top because this is so far back. And a couple of videos ago, it also might be the distance, which I didn't really think of, but I'm hoping it's mostly just the fact that it's further back. Uh, but I mentioned that I was potentially gonna move the screen back. I don't really want to. Um, the rug is pretty tight tolerance. I don't really want to lose any more space behind it. I got to kind of play with the projector alignment a little bit anyway, because it's not super tight, so I think it shifted a little. But I don't necessarily want to go through the whole thing. I do have cords running here that I don't want to mess up too much by continuing to mess with it. Um, so instead of moving the screen, this light strip ends right here and comes around. It's not powered on that end. So I think I'm going to actually try to unstick it, fix this so it's behind the curtain rod instead of over it, which was a mistake from the beginning, and uh, move it forward and restick it to the ceiling a little further forward. Um, if it doesn't restick super great, which hopefully it does, uh, all of the Govee light strips do come with a bunch of clips that are sticky. So I might just have to throw some clips in as additional support. We'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be fine though. And then this side's always kind of been a challenge too. So because it's on the curtain, it, you know, kind of wiggles and waves around. Um, because there's nothing supporting it on this end. So what I'm going to do to fix this is I'm actually going to Oh too far. I'm going to sticky tape it To where it needs to be on the edge so I got the um Scotch less destructive. It's pretty Not tacky But it's tacky enough to secure the curtain to the side of the screen and that'll keep that in place so it doesn't really move around. It acts as an anchor point. It'll block light from coming in in that corner. And that'll kind of keep that like that. So hopefully I can get an even cast all the way around the screen finally. So that's my next project for today. Uh, I think I'm also going to try to route the extension cord like I was talking about from that, that corner to get power in this corner today. And that's probably about it. I don't have a ton of energy. This has been my fourth day out of five. Well, fourth in a row. Actually, I'm working six days this week. Because they messed up my schedule. But I'm going to take it. So I think I want to do those two things. Well, three things, I guess. Move this forward. Tape this. And power. And then I'm going to go to bed. But that's what I've been up to today. Uh, maybe when I get up, I might start working on the projector hole again, although I don't know. Um, I had another idea for the spiral lights. I was thinking about maybe putting them here, under this. Um, I gotta see first off if I have enough head clearance 
and checking off what the pattern looks like. But I think that might be an easy solution. It gets a little light on the path. It's not affecting the main theater. It's easier to hide cords because I can just go up past the duct. So I'm going to see what it looks like and probably go for that. That might be something I'll at least that will investigate. Uh, tomorrow I might necessarily might not necessarily attach them but I'm going to at least play with them and see if I like them there I also could put them here but that I think might look dumb but we'll see um I did get bad guys so that's probably gonna be the next movie we watch down here uh so we'll see how that goes it would be the first movie I've done since updating literally everything i updated the Morantz firmware i updated the shield firmware pretty sure cody had an update in there somewhere so hopefully that addresses some of the hitching that popped up recently if not oh well but yeah that's the uh the plan for the next little bit here i see you guys later well it peeled off easy enough and it's now over the line or the bar. Uh, it kind of was stuck in sections as I pushed it, and a lot of it wasn't really stuck or pushed all that hard. So hopefully there's enough adhesive left. And it still seems pretty sticky. So when I stick it back up, it'll be fine. Um, next thing we'll see is how the new cast works, if it was actually worth any of it. At the very least, it's over the rod now. Well, I don't know for sure that it was worth it. Um, it seems to be sticking okay. I guess we'll see in a day or two. Uh, it gets something up there now. Of course, it's not the same width, and it's not as bright since it's further away. But, at least it's got some light up there. I mean, it's showing up more on camera, so maybe with regular eyesight it looks fine. No, I still need to fix this. That'll help. But at the very least... It's on the right side of the bar now, which I much prefer. Um, I think I got it pretty much straight. Maybe a little wiggly. Actually, it's definitely a little wiggly. I thought I was kind of evening it out with a line that I found in the, in the tile, but it's obviously not very straight. Although from the front, you can't really tell. Maybe I'll try to even it out a little bit. All right, but at least it's something. Oh, well, that's taped now, so we'll see how well that stays. Seems pretty sticky, though I did have to readjust it a few times. But I think it's where I want it, more or less. The cast is right, won't well, give or take. Can't quite see all the LEDs from here. So that's mostly just an angle thing. Um... And even though, you know, the edge is tacked, uh, still going to be a little variable. Depending on how far out the currents are pulled, etc., etc. Um, I think it's fine. Some of the LEDs are covered up anyway. You know, for the front, it's more or less the cast, not so much seeing the LEDs themselves. Just wish the top had a little more light, but it's fine. I dig it. Um, when I get to the gym lighting, there is kind of a plan for in here too. Um, but I still need to see how that's going to work out. So to be continued. I decided to reconfigure the LED strip around the room. Or did I? Upgrades. We, we don't have to worry about nothing. I decided I wanted RGBAC lights in here after all.
So if you guys haven't figured it out yet. still here I am just insane and now have two LED strips in here so I have the option or you know just run them both so what's actually going on this is half of the strip the other half is back here in the home of the future gym so I got the controller on this side it goes through the hole in the corner out there and then this half is going to go around the room in here so unfortunately well kind of unfortunately that means they're both going to be on at the same time there's no way to split them up uh, but that also means I can, on the one occasion I have a party probably, uh, tie the spaces together. But either way, I really wanted IC out here. I didn't really want to have to get two separate strips. means I now have lights above the door. Which I kind of like. <sighs> I don't know how likely it is that I'm going to get copyright stricken on that. So, I can also have them both on and just set to whatever color. Um, and I can sync them together and stuff too. So, now I have a complete border. <laughs> Including the door. And I don't think it looks too ridiculous. Although, if you notice, the uh, spacing on these bulbs is quite different. So you got the ones that are close together are the old strip. The ones that are further apart is the RGBIC. Because, you know, they got to make room for the chips. Uh, I'm assuming the chips draw power to some capacity. So they got to worry about power budget. So I like having the option of both. Um, and... I think, you know, they're right next to each other. Uh, I don't really think it detracts any more than the regular strip being up there. They're fairly invisible, honestly. Um, I also have power in this corner now. I did go ahead and run the extension cord over, which is where these are plugged in, at least for now. Probably will stay. But yeah, I'm getting pretty tired, so I'm not even going to mount the back half today. Hopefully somebody doesn't need them. I'm going to have to put them up high where uh, you can't really get to them. When they're off, it's not really going to matter if they're coiled up. But yeah, one more project done. And we're ready for rave mode. Well, it's now the next day, or night, or whatever. 
Um, so you can see the yard at night now. That one mushroom and that one torch. And the rear torches aren't on because this guy actually makes too much light. It trips the light sensor. But that's easy enough to fix. And now they're on. And back downstairs. So I was hanging out in the plush room for a bit. And it didn't seem like the spacing on those RGBIC lights were as wide. Because they put a strip up there too around the border. And um, they were definitely controlling every three lights. This one's controlling every six. So apparently I did end up getting the new one. Maybe, they're not calling it Pro anymore, but maybe it wasn't selling that great because of the changes. And maybe that's why it was discounted. I mean, either way, I did get this one for the $30 off that I had wanted. So, you know, it's fine. I don't need super fine control down here or anything. It's just kind of annoying that they have so many product SKUs that essentially have the same description and yet do significantly, depending on who you talk to, different things. You know, the number of LEDs and the granularity of the control is kind of a big deal. Um, I can't really A-B compare the brightness of the two strips. I can compare the brightness of the two down here, but, you know, it's a non-IC and an IC, so I don't even know if that's a fair comparison. And especially considering it's probably close to twice the density of LEDs. But just something interesting to point out. Um, I'm not really sure what the plan for today is. Probably going to mount the other half of this strip to the gym. Even though I'm not really sure what I'm doing in there yet as far as like wall textures and art and stuff. I think where the strip is going I can end up working around it. Um, I'm not going to do anything loud right now because the wife is asleep. She's on day shift right now because she trains her jobs. Um, which is unfortunate. We're not really seeing each other very much right now. But, you know, we're making do. It's temporary until training is done. Then she'll be back on thirds. Um, so yeah, I can't really do anything loud until 6.30, 7 o'clock when she goes to work. Um, but I think I'm going to put her down here for a little bit. I also got the uh, Govi RGBIC hex lights. Basically, it's their version of the Nanoleaf, the far superior and vastly less expensive version. Um, they were finally on sale. Um, I have no idea where I'm going to put them, though. There's not really a place in here I can put them in. Unless I want to, like, mount them to the ceiling or something, but one, I don't think that'll hold very securely, and two, I don't think I really like that idea. Um, yeah, I don't even know how I would go about securing it, because we know this sound stuff doesn't hold the tape super great. I guess I could do like I did with the lampshades, is screw some sort of piece of cardboard or something... And then have the Govi attached to it. But I don't really want to break up my ceiling tile aesthetic. The other major thought was putting them on the stairs coming down. But if I'm doing the posters there, I don't really know that I want to do that. <clears throat> Plus, the main issue that with that is I would almost never see them. I'm not going to you know, hang on the staircase in case it's like, oh, look at my things. Um, same with all this space. None of this really makes any sense. Probably the area that 
seems to make the most sense would be somewhere in the gym. Because while we don't hang out a lot in here right now, at some point we will. Uh, my cat sneezed all over this chair, but I'm going to sit in it anyway. Um, so, it could go above the TV. Although I do have an immersion kit sitting down there that I also want to install. That'll probably be today. And I think that's going to go on this TV. I don't really want it on, like, my main TV. First off, it's not big enough for the A80J. And it doesn't really make a lot of sense in the bedroom. Possibly in the office if I had a TV in there, but I don't currently. Um, so this seems to be the, the best case for it. I picked it up because it was super on sale, like, around Black Friday or even before that. I think before we moved in a while ago, I've had it. So, I mean, maybe I'll put them on this wall, because this is probably going to go away. Um, I was thinking about maybe doing, like, a, a space wallpaper or something on this wall. And then this will go probably as a divider between, you know, like, the laundry area and, like, the furnace and storage area. Not real sure. Um, this wall's an option, but the problem with this is it's broken up with the stupid you know, zigzag here. Not really sure what the point of that is. Maybe that's something to do with the apartment next door. Really have no idea. Um the wall that makes the most sense is this one. It's a little problematic because of this guy. But if I did want to go behind it is in the, well, no, not really, there isn't. I could get probably a cable under there, but the, the hex won't fit under there, so I would have to go on one side or the other. Which is going to be weird, because it's not going to be centered. I don't know. To be determined. I want to put them somewhere, though. And this room is the most likely candidate. Yeah, again, I don't really want to do the living room, because let's try to be a little classier up there. Um, the other most sensible location would be my office. But the problem with that is I'm kind of hurting for wall space in there. And I'd rather dictate it or have it dedicated to, um, art and stuff versus a static light piece. Uh, if I do end up getting the Govi Neon, that would probably go in the office. But yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the hexes. Yeah, this one's probably sufficiently long at this point. Probably gonna go ahead and splice it together and upload it. Um, depending on what the actual length is. It might not even be one video, it might end up being two. Although I've had almost hour long videos on the channel before, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Anyway, uh, unless something important pops up, that's probably going to be it, for this one at least. But I'm going to continue doing stuff, and I'll update you when there's more progress. Talk to you later. Have a good one.